everybody it's me again so today I'm going to show you how to make a simple press ruler so you will be well, like what is that <laughs> so this ruler you can use this ruler when you are ironing uh, when you're doing a seam allowance when you have to be precise to mark a quarter um, half each three quarters to each as whatever it is you can make it yourself so that way you don't have to buy those expensive iron I mean ruler for iron and this is really good and effective way that you can do that now everybody have a different ways to do it this is the way it worked for me so I'm going to tell you right now what you're going to um, use the first one you're going to use oak tank oak tank is the one that normally is um, work really good for this you can also use like file that kind of material and that kind of neighborhood you can use but be careful because you want something that do not leak ink or any kind of situation about that the next one is gonna use a scissors paper scissor um, a ruler I uh, using this 12 inch ruler for this the next one is going to be a simple um, pen, pencil, sorry, pencil for this. I have two pencils, which is the red and the blue, which normally is the one that you use for sewing, but I'm going to use this for this because this uh, cannot bleed, and if you bleed, you can take it out from the fabric. You don't want to use ink. Do not use ink at all because you're using a hot tool you might put water you might put um something else up there and it will make the ink bling so do not use um ink in this okay so now we're going to be drafting the ruler so i normally the way i like to do it is transfer one of these ruler to here you're going to try to get the border because normally you know that the border already is straight so you don't have to create another line up there so you're gonna take your ruler you're gonna put in here and make sure that is completely straight in both sides make sure that is correct and then you come with the pencil and you're going to make the line so you will be ended up with this. So when you're doing that, then you come with a ruler and then decide how long you want your ruler um, be. I normally like um, around five inches or less because longer um, is, harder is to control. So normally I put five inches. I'm gonna use a ruler and use the line, this one as Measuring, I'm gonna try to put it straight as I can. And then we have our area. So we're going to cut really, um, really fast this portion here. Try to be precise. Of course, you can make it thicker if you want. Um, so in that way you have more weight to To grab it so you will be ended up with a um, sorry with a portion like this you do have um, one uh, basically two options you put uh, lines here put line here or put line everywhere so I normally like to use one side and the other side and this side normally leave in clean so that way I don't have to deal with that so we're gonna start um, put in this to a quarter. So I'm gonna start putting a quarter. I'm gonna use a red one, which is a color um, you can see very well. And then half each is going to be blue. Red, it will be three quarters. Quarters 
and one each, it will be blue. So you will be ended up with something like this. So you know the first line is a quarter, second line is half, the third line is three quarter, and the last one is going to be one um, each. You can do um, something that I normally do, which is adding um, one extra line, which is two each. It's going to be blue. And each and half, one and a half. So in that way, you do have a very clear way to see where it goes. So then you will apply these to this side. So in that way, you will be able to use the whole ruler in this way. Okay, so right now I just finished to put all the lines. Um, the last thing that you want to put is your name, but you're going to do it with pencil. So that way you know that is yours. So now I'm going to show you how you can use this. Okay, so now we're going to um, use it so that way you can see how to use it depending on the area that you want to press you do have Sorry You do have the both area. So this area is longer so I can use the bottom part So let's say that I have to make it half each I just put in here fold it until I reach half each can see it but basically this way and then just hold it a little bit come with the flat iron and just press it and that way it's done so then you can pull out you can fold it this way I mean put them back this way Just to making sure. Turn off this thing. And then you can see it's perfect. You can put it and you can see it match exactly half inches. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoy it. So please subscribe and share.